What's up guys? As you can see, I'm back in my backyard, surrounded by bikes in the beautiful country of Holland. This is my bike, right here. This is the bike that I cycled through here for the last three months. I thought that this was the perfect opportunity to destruct the whole bike and show you everything, like how I carried at least like the last month or so, what my setup was like, and uh, then I can put everything in the right place, you know, back home and set myself up here for a little bit. So anyways, let's start. First, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the whole bike. Um, I've basically put everything on the way I do it normally. Afterwards, I'm gonna take the bags off, I'm gonna move them to my room upstairs, and then I'm gonna pack them out just quickly and show you where I put each item. Um, if you have any suggestions on items that you want uh, to have a review on, a more in-depth video about that item, leave it in the comments down below. All right, so let's start. So the bike itself, model Trek 520. In the next video, you can click the eye right there. I'm gonna give a little review of the Trek 520 after about 5,000 kilometers that I cycled on there. Right now, uh, two trips it has been. This was the setup for the second trip, the first trip, also at front panniers, was a little bit of a different setup. Um, but anyways, let's start at the top. As you can see, I still have the same Ortley bag. It's the black one, the classic Ortley waterproof. In here. I'm not gonna open them now, I'm gonna open them in my room, so I'm gonna just gonna get this thing off of there. All right, so here I have two more items. This is my helmet that I normally wear, and I also have my kickstand. Um, this is my setup for my video. I sometimes put the camera on uh, this thing. This one extends like this, like that, so I can put it down. I think this is a really good setup for like quick shots, uh, right pass shots, because you know, you can set it up really quickly. Uh, this is normally strapped or on top over here or it's in one of these side bags yeah this is this this item is basically sort of like everywhere and nowhere all right then we have this setup i forgot to mention in my last video when i uh did this setup the reason why i did it because a good friend of mine uh called joseph he's in australia right now i'm coming to him very soon um he's got the same setup and i thought it was a good idea because i used to have still the front racks on there which i didn't use so I took those off, I still have them by the way, so I can put them back on if I wanted to. But this has proven to be quite nice because now I don't have to worry about water as much as I used to. Um, because I used to have only three bottles and then one of them was in here. But right now I'm carrying gas in this container. I used to carry white gas and white gas doesn't stink so much. So it was in one of my bags. But this, this is normal gas and it was in the same pannier as my clothes and I could already smell the gas in my clothing somehow. I think just the, the outside of the bottle gets dirty when I use it so much. So right now I just carry that on the outside. But yeah, then one of my bottles uh, didn't fit and my parents came to visit me, so they brought one extra bottle. I made this setup, so now I carry four bottles and one gas container. And I really think that this is a really good setup for me at least because you don't have to worry about water so much. Especially in Australia, it's gonna be quite wild. I'll probably have to carry like a camel bag or something like that to carry even more water. But yeah, right now it's time to get all of that off. All right, next item is in this little pouch right here. This is a little bike, uh, frame bag you can say. Oh, there's nothing in it right now. Uh, it carries my power bank. I don't know where the power bank is right now. I think it's in my front. But here, it's where I put it. Oh yeah, by the way, normally on top of the bike, on the headset, I carry my phone right here. And this is where my Garmin device goes in this little uh, quick lock thing. And this is the power bank that normally goes here, so it's quite easy when your phone is dead or your Garmin is dead. I can just hook them up and they charge as well. I'm riding. This is my front light. I really don't like the place when I'm probably gonna take it off because when my front pannier is on here, uh, this light got blocked by the by the pannier. So, and I've not really used it much. It needs to be connected to a power bank as well in, for, in order for it to work. It's very bright. But yeah, I don't really recommend this one. I think I got it from like AliExpress or something like that. And one more item on the front is this little Deja thing. I want to make a different video about this. Um, and this is to scare away dogs. I've only used it, I think, once or twice in Lithuania. And it's proven that it works. It just emits like a very high pitched sound. And it worked on, on one of the dogs. He just, first he came like very, very like barking to me. And uh, when I pressed this thing on him, he's like, oh, never mind. And he just wandered off, so. This is my bike pump. My, my tires are so good that I've only used this maybe once or twice. It's the turbo, more fine. I'm just gonna leave this on there because I, yeah, 
I think it, you know it fits well and uh, it's always always on there. Let's quickly go to the back. To the back. Just going to show you the setup. So this has been my setup. Two very large, like the largest Ortley panniers out there. They were a bit expensive. Um, they're the Ortley back roller. Uh, pro ones. These are my tent poles. They don't really fit in any of these bags So I just strap them on the top via the top mount and uh, this just works fine And on top I just with this bungee cord on the top of my bike is my rucksack Which has all my electronics in there and a couple clothes as well So let's take that all off and uh, let's bring it inside All right start with the front left one little disclaimer some of these things might be very very dirty like really bad I'm very glad that you cannot smell some of the things that I'm probably gonna smell uh, <laughs> just just a little heads up it, it, it can get really nasty anyways okay, so I hope you can see this well so this is my a food bag as well as some other things uh, and a lot of clothes so on top uh, this has changed the place a lot of times. Uh, it's my drone bag, so in here, there's my little DJI Spark. I used to have a filter on this camera, but I lost it somewhere, I think in the Czech Republic, which kind of really sucks because it was kind of an expensive piece. Um, but it was very small and it fell off a couple times and it made the footage a little bit better. So maybe you can see a difference in the footage. That's because I lost a really, really nice filter. Now we have some food, so this is some Mostly I still have, so there's some almonds, uh, these are dates, these are also sometimes in the outside pocket, right there, but now they are here. And we have, this is a spice bag number one, still with like the old bags in there, which is sort of fine. I didn't use every spice that I had, which is kind of a waste, but I plan to practice a little bit you know with cooking while i'm here so i'm not going to go into detail but this is spice bag number one just some spices and we also have spice bag number two which also contains tea bags as well as some yeah chili pepper like a piece of garlic over here uh salt and pepper right there and next up we have my pan set so i open it up like this first we have a lid there we go now we have my sponge, and this is the handle, so this one goes like that. And then it just goes on the side, like right there. And then you can just use your pen like that. Below that we have the big pot. This has my flour in it, which is kind of like very heavy. I also write like what it is, so this is flour sort of. That's why I was making so many pancakes, because yeah, I had to buy a kilo of flour to carry. This is pasta right here as well as rice. So yeah, this is not so much, but I eat this quite a bit so as rice. And then this is the pot, as well as the bag right there. So that's about it for my pan set. Uh, also in here is my water filter. I think I actually used to put it in my backpack. And this I've used in Ukraine, as well as in Latvia a couple of times, because the water was just looking dirty or smell a bit gross, just to be sure. Um, so yeah, I did use it even in Europe. I used it a couple times. It is quite bulky um, But it is pretty easy to use and I think in other countries where you cannot drink the water from the tap I don't want to buy like all these plastic bottles all the time. So I think that this is quite a handy thing to have Ping pong ball which Ended up in there. I don't know why <laughs> uh, If I do if I want to do online purchases, that's where this is for but I plan to keep it here because I actually never used it. Uh, this is a lens cap. I just threw this in here because I didn't really need it in my backpack. So this used to be in my backpack actually. Um, but yeah, these are just some small miscellaneous items. And do you guys remember this thing? The bone conducting headphones. I used these once. This was the item that was kind of a disappointment because it just wasn't comfortable. And I wanna make a, I think another video about this, but that didn't really sit well and you know, it was just not such a comfortable piece. And uh, yeah, that's why I decided to put this one low in my uh, rucksack. And right now I'm just putting, uh, pulling out some pieces of uh, in this bag, but this used to be in my backpack at the bottom. And I didn't, yeah, I didn't use this nearly as much as I thought I would use it. 
and I'm probably gonna leave it home. And this is a utensil. This used to be in here because this is actually the cook uh, bag. Wooden uh, fork, which I used because I didn't want to scratch up my pants over there. And then we have a present from Zbigniew. Some gloves. I don't know if I'm gonna bring them. Might, might kind of be handy, you know, just for bike maintenance or uh, when it's cold, I might bring them. They're quite nice. <laughs> I got some soy sauce in here, which I think I used once for a pasta with like peanut butter uh, paste. This is apple cider vinegar, which I bought in Ukraine. The reason I bought this is quite an interesting story, but there was like a recipe that I was following uh, about like sleeping better and it included like you have to get this tea with honey and vi uh, apple cider vinegar. Uh, this is actually from Tim Ferriss, like uh, the writer of uh, the 4 hour work week as well as uh, just a very successful person and he said that uh, this will help you get sleep. I'm sorry but it didn't really work for me. Uh, so I'm probably gonna leave this home. See, I only use this much and uh, But I think I can use it in some meals as well. So this is apple cider vinegar Which I carried with me since Ukraine and this item that I use quite a bit This is my dirty sort of uh, for cleaning the dishes my small little towel and my cup for tea that sort of stuff This is my MSR camp stove. This is my clothing bag. So as you can see, this is big. It contains actually a lot of clothing that I did not wear because it was so warm. A lot of like, this is for example, a thermo, um, this is a vest. And I think also like swimming pants, some other pants, uh, pants in there that I didn't really uh, bother. Uh, also some long pants. So I'm gonna make some change when I go to Australia about this setup with all of my clothing. The recently added item, another added item, chopping board. I used it a couple times, as you can see, it's got some marks on there. I like it, I really do like this. Uh, this I used quite a bit for making pancakes or eggs or that sort of stuff. So um, this is actually rapeseed oil. Uh, I bought like the smallest flask I could find and this is it with lemon and like basil in there. It's almost empty, I use this quite a bit for making my meals. Next up we have this soap. This is the soap that I use as you can see quite a bit of and this was basically all of my soap as well as my tooth paste and uh, dishwashing. This is biodegradable. It's called Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 peppermint uh, soap. I really do recommend this especially in nature. This is the way to go and uh, I'll make a different video on this I think if you guys want that leave it in the comments down below. Uh, this was a little bit too much. Another spoon, I didn't use this one actually at all. Chili, I, I think I only used this thing once really, but you had to buy like such a big thing for it. And this was part of the recipe, so that's why I bought this, but I'm probably gonna downsize a lot of these items for my next trip. <laughs> now we have another clove of garlic in there. Uh, right now this is empty, but this used to carry washing powder. So if there was no washing powder, then I could use my own washing powder, which was quite handy. At the bottom, this bag is really dirty, so I'm just getting everything out of there. Spare tube. On the side bag, I've got my business cards, and these guys were completely filled, so... Um, this is my other brand. I actually did not give out any of these, but I did give out a lot of my Traveling Ties uh, business cards. So I'm gonna fill them up probably only with these, maybe a few of those, but a lot of these, because these are going really, really well. And this is a copy of my passport that I leave in this bag. Never really needed it, but if my other bag, like my backpack, which uh, contains my passport, gets stolen, then I still have a copy. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so these I never actually uh, got to use. I think I even like forgot that I brought them, but these are like training bands. They're like resistance bands that you can use for training. Yeah, I wanted to get into shape or something, so I brought them. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna bring them again, but that's quite funny that I just like, I put them in there, forgot about them completely, and now I'm putting them out there again, which is funny. And as you can see, maybe you can see that, uh, you can see that here is a, another pocket at the side of my big pannier, which contains my repair kit. It's got all the repair items, pretty much all of it that I needed. I did not get any flats. Uh, I think I lost one screw and I replaced that one and for the rest didn't really use this that much but it's really really good to have and in there I also have just in case a winter hat did not wear this one at all 
Uh, could have known, but yeah, still. These are two extra hooks, just in case, because on my last trip, a lot of my uh, hooks broke from the front panniers, and it was kind of a pain in the ass to replace them, so I just bought some spare ones. I think I'll bring them again, because you know, you never know. All right, then in last piece, we've got some money. So these, I think, oh, these are actually euros. Oh, that's nice. So I got some euros to spend here in Holland. That's pretty good. So yeah, that inside is completely empty. On the outside pocket, I have some like chips or something, some star-shaped chips. I think I bought them once just for like salt. And I never really got to like finish it, but yeah, I'll finish it probably very soon. All right, and that is number one, sort of. This is all the stuff from Panier number one. So number two is my camping panier. On top, 10 poles. If you haven't seen the MSR Hubba review, click right here to see it. Uh, and these are the 10 poles for that. Then inside we've got my flip-flops. On top, right there. My towel. This is my uh, personal towel, so for showering, that sort of stuff. Same color, it's the same material, like camp material. And it dries really, really quickly. And we've got my toiletry bag with all my toiletries in there. You know, it's your standard stuff. As well as some night lenses. I carry night lenses with me, so I put them in while uh, I'm sleeping. I wear them while sleeping, and then at, uh, on the day itself, I can see clearly, and it really works actually very, very well. Now we have my pajama pants. I think, to be honest, I'll leave this home, or I'll only bring one pair of pants, because I normally just wore my shorts, which were just fine. Um, but only when I was like infested with mosquitoes, then I had uh, this for protection. And this is my sleeping shirt, which really smells really bad. <laughs> uh, this is my buff. It actually is in the, in the handlebar bag. Uh, I use this to sleep, so kind of like an eye mask. As well as a hat, as well as like a, just a normal buff. It's really a multi-purpose use type thing and I really like it. Next up we have the tent. This is the MSR Haba uh, Rainfly and Ground Cover of the MSR Haba tent in this waterproof bag and it's really, really, really nice. So yeah, this is where I carry the inner tent. So this is only the inner tent because that is often more dry than the rest of the tent. So this is my air mattress. It has just some elastic bands. Works fine and uh, it's not so big as my previous one but this one did I did not puncture so I can just reuse it which is good. It's a really nice one. My sleeping bag, the Yeti Tension. I think it's a Tension 5000 sleeping bag. Really like it, really for like different temperatures. It can go pretty low as well as pretty uh, high in temperature and uh, it's made out of down. So it's a down sleeping bag and I really, really like it. And this is my liner. So this is a liner that I put into the sleeping bag. My pillow from Sweden, which has worked pretty well. Then on the side we have my light. So this is my camp light as well as this is my, uh, I use this a handful of times, maybe like once or twice a armband for, for my phone. I don't really love this thing, but eh, I don't know if I'm gonna bring it again, but it's 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 a nice piece. Then here, this is the big bag for my sleeping bag because sometimes I'm staying inside for a couple of days and the sleeping bag being in the tension sack, it's not really good for it because it like compresses and then it cannot like decompress fully. So sometimes I just put it in this big one and I don't have to worry about it, but a lot of times I actually forget about that, so. This is at the bottom of, uh, of the pannier. Then also in here, in the side bag, we have some items that I actually never got to use. This is a spare lens fluid bottle. So this is a new lens fluid that I didn't have to carry actually because I had enough. Of course, I didn't know beforehand, but yeah, this is, uh, this is some new net lens fluid. And that's it for the inside of this pannier. Uh, on the outside, I've got my small lock. This is to lock my two panniers to the bike, which I did pretty much all the time, just as a habit. Works well. This is great. Nutella, love this. Uh, these are just a bunch of cranberries that I still have left. Uh, some honey. Then we have sunscreen. <laughs> More sunscreen, wow. This is my chain lock. It's very, very dirty actually, because I think I also had a rotting banana in it and I forgot about. But yeah, this is my chain lock. Some chain lube right here. So that's about it for this one. Let's go to the backpack. So this is the backpack, was on top of the two other panniers. This has a, a lot of pockets and this is where I think 
most of the dirty stuff. So let's start with the front flap right here. Oh, this has, I think this is actually clean actually. Let's, let's have a little smell here. Uh, it smells like there was a banana in there. Um, I, I think banana peel that I sort of forgot about. So um, this is normally not on this outside uh, here, but I think I couldn't fit it into my backpack anymore. So I just put it on the outside very quickly. But normally it's in here. But yeah, because of the hostel and me, I had to hurry a little bit to the bus. So I just put it out there and I knew I, I didn't really have to use it anymore. But yeah, this is, this is basically my underwear, socks, that sort of stuff in here. And these are clean actually. Well, not anymore, but they were clean. Okay, that's it. Then we have the, this is actually supposed to be a sunglasses case. But I've got my uh, shopping bag. So this I use uh, when I go out to the supermarket. I just use my own bag uh, so I don't have to buy like new plastic bags all the time. And this is the Rainfly which is actually too small. I thought it was big enough. When this thing is empty it's big enough but when it's all filled up this thing cannot like it's not enough. It's not big enough so I'm probably gonna have to buy a bigger one. But it works well. It's nice. It's nice color and uh, it's a good item. Then here I think we have all of my chargers. Yeah. So cables. Chargers, this is my camera charger, more cables. Uh, these are all empty, this is another charger. Uh, two empty batteries. Uh, this is my knife, Bear Grylls, uh, survival knife. I really like this one. Spare SD card container. A pen, always nice to have. A USB hub. These are my hard, hard disk. This one had a fault, it's sort of fixed now. So that was another cable. But in Ukraine, I bought this, and this is a one terabyte hard disk, and this is a four terabyte hard disk. So right now I'm using this one most of the time to back up my stuff. And then afterwards, I'll probably move to this one or I'll maybe even leave this one at home. And then it stores like one of like the most uh, valuable data on there or something, I don't know. Here we have my sport. This is, this is what I use most of the time to eat, like yogurt and that sort of food. My charger and more cables. This also has my passport. So this is my vaccination booklet. This is my passport. As well as some, these are all broken cables. And I actually didn't know this. My spare key is in here. That's pretty, it's pretty neat. Okay, that's it for this one. Then the main compartment. So this normally carries also some clothing items and yeah, some miscellaneous stuff. So this is these are all Ziploc bags. I carried a little bit too much, but I found myself sometimes, you know, not having like a, uh, a bag for garbage and sometimes I had like dirty garbage, so I use this. Uh, of course, the one and only Sterling Tie shirt. I don't have all my clothing because I'm also wearing, well, I'm not wearing right now some anything that I brought on the trip. But yeah, I don't really, I don't think I have all my clothing pieces right here, but this is my Sterling Tie shirt. This is my other shirt, which is really, really dirty because I, Wore this one for a week in Prague and we went like partying and <laughs> that sort of stuff. So I wore this there all the time. It really smells like, like really like shit. And um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna uh, carry two normal shirts and then maybe one less uh, sports shirt because a sports shirt can get like dirty, but a normal shirt I like to have like some variety. And my microphone for recording podcasts, that sort of stuff. This is an item that I actually use only for one series and that's the Bicycle Touring uh, Everything You Need to Know series because this mounts on top of my camera and then I can put my phone in here as a little auto cue. So it's on top of my camera and it points towards me that I'm filming. Serve as a little auto cue device. But yeah, I didn't really have time to continue that, that series so I didn't get to use it at all. Um, but I wanted to use it. So I might use it now that I have some time here in Holland. I might use this thing. A strap for my DSLR camera bag. Uh, a light, which actually the batteries are empty uh, and I realized it a little bit too late. But I didn't really have to use it because most of the time it was light until I got to sleep and then it, you know, and it was light when I woke up. Like I never really had to be uh, in the dark, only sometimes. This is my chest mount. Um, didn't use it as much as I would have liked maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring this because it's quite a cool effect. I can make some videos with this. Uh, this is a GoPro mount, so I put my GoPro right there. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good item for some, for some cool shots. Of course, my cycling shorts. Here you can see the pad. This is the pad right there. Yeah, I wore this thing all the time. 
Uh, this little bag with I think some cleaning, yeah, some cleaning like cloth to clean my camera lenses, which can get really, really dirty, really, really fast. Then above here we have a little plastic bag. Okay, uh, this is my international adapter for Australia. I'll need it. It's got all the different ports in and out, everything, uh, and yeah. It also has two USB ports, which is like also useful. In, like when I just have the European plug, it's also kind of useful to have those two. This is my mouse. This is my, my lav mic. I don't really like the quality on this thing, so I didn't use it quite as much, but yeah, it's quite a nice item actually. I might use it a little bit more, get to, get to know it a little bit more because it's the quality is not great, you know? But it's, it's a pretty cool thing. I, ma I made a few videos with it, but yeah, I just had it in that pouch all the time and never really I uh, got it out of there. And we also have my pet lock, which you need at some point, like in hostels or maybe to lock up your tent. Gives a little bit more security. Um, so yeah, that's my pet lock. Okay, that's it for that one. Now we have the laptop compartment. So my laptop was on the bottom of this uh, bag when it was laying on the rack. And it still works. I had actually no problem at all carrying it like this. So it's like the inside is nice and padded. Like this is like maybe like this much of padding and then this thing is also in a laptop sleeve so it's it really works really well um, my laptop is quite strong it's a dell xps 15 uh, maybe i can do a review on it someday but it's a really really nice uh thing then we have two books this is my general notebooks where i write like all of my things in i think yeah just notes and stuff i, I like to work with pen and paper every now and then and this is the five minute journal, which uh, every day take five minutes to write in this thing. And it really, really helps. I really like uh, to do that. Now at the bottom of that, we've got some pencils, some markers, all that stuff. This is the charger for the uh, DJI Spark for the batteries. And I hope I also have the charger. Oh, right here. And this is my laptop charger. I normally have it in another pouch, but I found it. This is my laptop charger. These are some presents from Zbigniew, I think. Um, some things from his area, so yeah. Didn't really get to look in them, but I'll, I think I'll give them to my parents. So maybe when they come to your area, Zbigniew, they can use this. At the bottom we have this one item, which I didn't use at all. The windscreen for my cook stove. I had no use for this. So this is definitely going maybe even into the garbage. I don't know. So that's it for that one. Empty. Now we have one more. I'm gonna go over real quickly. One item I forgot to show, this is normally in my backpack in the front sleeve. My solar panel, I use this quite a bit and I really like it, so I'm gonna bring this thing again, it's really good. Then normally what I wear on myself, first of all my cell phone, wallet, and these earphones are always in my pocket. On the bike we have my Garmin, on my hands I have got my bike gloves, and on my face I got my sunglasses. All right. So in here, we go from left to right. On the left, we've got my GoPro, uh, which is the iContex 4K Ultra HD camera. It's a nice camera, I really do like it. It's just like a GoPro, but then quality is a little bit less, but still I use this every now and then, especially when it was raining. It's a pretty nice thing. Then the main thing here is my DSLR camera, which is very nice that it's in there so I could just pop pull it out and take a photo just like that. So this is the Canon 70D that I use to take photos as well as right past shots and some nice shots. In this little side sleeve I've got my uh, full batteries. That's where the full batteries go and I actually need to replace the battery in the camera right now. All right, so real quickly, my e-reader, mosquito stick, lip balm, multi-tool, my bell that came off. Uh, I was too lazy to put it back in, so I just dropped it in in my pannier. But this is my bell. Flint and steel, uh, didn't really get to use it, but just in case my lighter didn't work anymore, I got my flint and steel. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I kind of like it. Earplugs, didn't really use them because they're quite they're quite long. They don't really work so well for me. And I'm a side sleeper, so yeah, these are not very comfortable for that. We have the remote for the GoPro camera. And this is a little thing so I can mount my small camera on top of my DSLR via the hot shoe mount. And sometimes I did that so, so to create a setup where I'm riding past the first camera and that's seeing me like that way. And then the camera above it is looking the other way so I can like ride once and then get two shots 
uh, of me riding past. So that's why I used it a few times for that. It's quite nice. Uh, right here, I think I got some small items. Uh, a can opener, which I didn't use at all. And this is an, a spare key for my small lock that I use for my panniers. And that is everything. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, as you can see, a big mess. I couldn't find any dirty socks actually. I have no idea where those are. I must have had a few. This was my old setup. Um, now I got about two months to change the things that I want to change or a few couple minor things, but I think that this setup is pretty good. It's okay lightweight. Uh, you can also spread it into four panniers. I only put it in two and then one backpack on top of it, but they were full. They were like, there was not much room for like a lot of food. So if you want more room than with this setup, you can use for uh, four pen years for that. But yeah, I rolled with it and worked, worked perfectly fine. Uh, I had a great, great time. If you haven't checked out those vlogs already, you can by clicking here or there. My second big trip through Europe uh, has been absolutely, absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if you liked this. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Bye.